Craft Warehouse followers. Today we are going to be making a fun little stretchy bracelet. So we are going to be adding some lava beads and some chakra stones and these fun little charms to create a um, aromatherapy bracelet and then also to be keeping our chakras all aligned. So let's go ahead and get started. So I am going ahead and I'm going to be using an eight millimeter white lava bead today. And then I went and grabbed one of our chakra strands and these are a six millimeter bead. I'm going to show you on this mat here. So a nice little six millimeter. And then we are using this chakra charm set from Tierra Cast. A few other things that I am going to be using today is going to be my GS Hypo Cement to glue my knot on my elastic cord. And then I am using a 0.8 millimeter um, stretchy cord. So this is elasticity from Beetleon. And then I am going to need some jump rings to connect my charms and my handy dandy chroma tools. So let's get started. All right, before we get too far along, I wanna make sure I attach jump rings to all of my charms, just to help my pattern go a little bit quicker. So you wanna grab your jump rings and your two pliers, just open up that ring and slip your charm on and close it. And we're just gonna repeat that for all seven. I did open up most of my jump rings here, so it will just to help the process a little bit on my end. And then just close this up. Now I am working with bit nose pliers today. Um, that is just a preference, but chain nose pliers will work just as well. I just tend to like the way the bent nose pliers angle and I can see my work, um, but I do work with both of them. And you could have a chain nose and a bent nose while you're opening and closing these pliers. All right, one more. And then our charms will be ready to go. Close it on up. All right. So we have our chakra charms all ready to go. They're sparkling and looking good. Okay, so today I am using, again, that elasticity from Beetlewon. So it's a good stretchy cord. I am planning to do about a seven inch bracelet. So I personally tend to spill my beads, so I like to work off of um, the spool, but I do suggest giving your cord a good tug um, before you start working. So we are going to come in here with two of our lava beads. Again, these you get to add essential oils to, which is great. And then we're going to start our pattern. So now we're going to come in with that purple chakra color. And then we're going to come in with a lava bead. And then we'll come in with that charm. And this is where it's nice because we already have our charms prepped and ready to just slide right on there. And then we're going to come in with that lava bead. And then I'm going to come in with that darker blue and then that lava bead. Again, I'm just going in the pattern of the chakras and then I am adding a charm. So there's a lava bead in between each um, color. Now you do want to make sure that your charms are all facing the same direction. You don't want any of them to be showing the backside because then when you're wearing it, you're gonna have some like that. So make sure they're all facing up. And then just keep continuing your pattern. So lava bead, chakra bead, lava bead, your chakra charm, and then 
a lava bean. And if you prepped your charms like we did here today, it does make this beading process and pattern just a tad quicker in my opinion. If you have not worked with lava beads, something that is great about them is like I mentioned earlier, is you can put your favorite essential oil in them. So if you're doing that, I probably would just put a little drop and either just let it absorb into your bead. But what I like to do is I like to put a drop and then just kind of take my fingers and rub it into the bead um, and just give it a couple minutes to dry before I put it on and wear it. Just because that oil at first does sit on top um, and I want to make sure it gets fully absorbed so I'm not getting any oil on my clothes. But that scent should last for over a day. Um, depending on the quality of it, it can last for a couple days, which is really nice. I know I like to put the essential oils on these, like a lavender, just to help relax me through the day. So now we just got two more chakra colors we're going to go through. And then our pattern will be complete. I do have a metal bead that's going to be silver that I have handy with me today. Because in tying these knots on the elastic cord, you can see the knot. Um, to me, it does not bug me, but I know for many that would bug. Um, so I just want to show a quick way that you can hide that if you are not using a large hole bead. Because today we are not using a large hole bead. Find the hole in this. So our last charm. And we'll end it with a lava bead. Okay. So I am going to now snip my stretchy cord. And I did put an extra lava bead on here because I wanted there to be three. Um, but I think I'm going to go ahead and take that off because I'm going to hide it with my knot with a little metal, like I was talking about, a little metal bead. So it's a larger hole. So I'm going to slip that on and my knot should be able to hide in it. Okay, so I'm just gonna give that cord a good stretch once more. And then we are gonna, I'm gonna show you two knots today. So first off, on the back side of the elasticity, it does show you a knot in how to tie off your elastic cord. So I'm gonna show you that. So you're gonna bring your two strands together. You wanna make sure you have a loop as close to the beads as you can. So I have my loop and then I want to bring the ends of the cord up and through and then I'm going to repeat that. So it'll go up and through once more and then what I do is I would just pull this tight and up to the beads. Now I'm not going to finish this knot off and tie it as tight as I can because I do find when doing this little surgeon knot is my first few times I did it, it I wasn't good at getting it as tight as I wanted up against my beads. So if I suggest practicing with that knot. So if you can't get that knot down, what I suggest is doing this one. So what we're going to do is cross our left over our right. And that left side, we're just going to wrap around twice. And then we're going to pull it tight. And then what we're going to do is again, take that left side, cross it over our right and wrap it around twice and pull it. And then I just give it a good pull. I stretch the beads out and I wanna make sure I'm pulling the strings underneath and pulling them on top, pulling them together this way, making sure it's as snug as it can be. Now, what I am going to do is I will add glue, and as you can see, that knot is going to slide right into that little spacer bead I put in. So let's go ahead and cut the ends off.
And then we're gonna come in with that GS Hypo Cement. So I like this because it has a really fine point on it and then it has a needle to close it back up. So I'm not gonna give this a squeeze or anything. I'm just gonna kinda let the temperature of my hand warm up the glue and the glue will start to come out. If I squeeze the bottle, what it's gonna do is it's just gonna keep pulling the glue out. The temperature of my hand will just heat that up and let it flow. What I'll do is just slide that needle right back into that GS Hypo. And now I wanna make sure that I get that knot inside that bead. so that it's hidden. Now it doesn't bug me if I see my knots, so that is just gonna come down to a preference. If you don't wanna see your knot, get a little large hole spacer bead. And there you have it, a fun aromatherapy chakra bracelet. Um, again, we do have black lava beads, so you could use black, but I really think that the white really pops the colors and you can see all the um, chakra gemstones really nicely. Um, before I throw this on, I will make sure that I let my GS Hypo um, dry. And with gluing that knot and putting it inside that metal bead, or maybe if I had a large hole bead and put it inside, is that glue is gonna also adhere into that bead so I don't have to worry about the knot sliding out. All right, you guys, thank you so much for following along. I hope you enjoyed and happy crafting.